Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Resident Evil 5. This is gonna be our second to last video on the main campaign, so, woo. <laughs> and, you might notice that my inventory is different from last time. I got a lot more guns now. Reason being that, one, I'm preparing for my friend to join our adventure, hopefully soon. Once I'm done with the extra episodes, I will ask him to see if he wants to play sometime. And then we'll see it, if it happens. And if it does, then I'm going to give him the good shotgun and the SIG 556, and then he can upgrade that SIG 556. I mean we will upgrade it and then that will be done for that and the other guns that you see the two pistols and the two shotguns those guns need to be upgraded fully to get some special gun or some special mode I don't fully know I will know at the end I'll probably take you guys through it just to see what it is because I know I finished the AK and the MP5 so we'll see what those look like but yeah that's the only thing really new and I just got done cleaning out my room and finding some movies that I might want to take when I move out. So that's why I'm a little late. To those of Twitch, to those of YouTube, you have no idea what's going on. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all normal. <clears throat> I'm actually going to grab a drink. I'll be right back. Let me pause because I need a drink. Can I pause? I need a drink. Thank you. God dang. I'll be right back. Oh, jeez. Now I need to get a paper towel. I'll be back more. You guys talk to yourselves. about this is that no one cares to watch me so no one knows It's just water, so not a big deal. Uh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. All right. Well, after that fun experience, let's actually play a game now. <laughs> Which, actually, I got some news for you guys. It won't really matter right now, but Back for Blood 
Or is it Aliens? Let's see which one's first. I th I know Back for Blood and Aliens Fire Team are really close together. Let's see which one's first. So Back for Blood has a beta test for those pre-orders on August 5th. I won't record anything, but I'm going to play it, and I'll let you know on the game that we do play that day, how it is and what I like about it. And then the 24th, same month, August, is when Aliens Fire Team comes out. So that one I will record and probably record a lot of it because I want I really like the concept of it and I just I just really want that game, you know. <laughs> so that's what's new and that's probably gonna be the content for a while is Aliens Fire Team I'll do the however many maps there are or if there's only one map then do it just like three or four times what the hell happened here? just cause I would want to do it so <laughs> nice heals oh she got injected didn't she what's going on That's why, you idiot. Chris, how nice of you to join us. Wesker. Don't worry. Your mission is at its end. Uroboros is on the eve. Oh, she's gonna be really big with all those bodies, I see now. Sorry, Wesker, but not on my watch. They were Wesker doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Soon, even you will understand, Chris. One glimpse of my new world, and it will all make perfect sense. Show yourself! That's a terrible close-up for him. It's too late for That's you. much better. Stay there. You will not live to see the dawn. Sorry, Excella, but it appears Uroboros has rejected you. Though you have been an excellent asset, I have one last in multiple ways. Albert! Oh, jeez, girl. God dang. Yeah, she's gonna be massive. I should have planned this for a little bit better. Oh well. I didn't know. I guess I could have figured since it's the end of the game and it's usually a big boss at the end of the game. That's what I gathered from 4. Not really from the revelations though. There wasn't a super big boss that I remember. and I'm just freaking stupid. Where exactly are we going? Oh! Good thing I was ready that time, guys. That's all I gotta say. Oh, jeez. How many goddamn buttons do I need to push? Jeez, the wheeze. Papa, jeez. Oh, okay. Going back inside. Why are we going back inside? Persistent son of a bitch. So now what? Do you think our it would be daughter. I don't know. By the way, but whatever. Out of here before it destroys this place. Oh. Mm. It's tearing through the ship. Oh. We can't stay here. Open. 
Oh, it's the first time it's been to do that. Okay. To my knowledge, I haven't been checking these. Or checking for these. Yet. I'm a little stupid. That okay. We all know that, though. Aha, sucker. Jesus is interesting. This reminds me of Revelations now. With the locker checking on the boat. Hey, look at that rifle. That's actually you. Uh, you're welcome. It was mainly for me. Delish. Alright. Why did you grab that? And you grab it. Roger. Use this. No, I'm gonna assume my buddy's gonna hit me with three guns. But we can't really have the same three guns. <laughs> so he's gonna have to probably have the pistol. Um, the grenade launcher, and then he can either have the sniper or a shotgun, because I usually don't use sniper rifle rounds, and I definitely won't use it after we're done, because it's kind of useless to me. So I will probably switch it out for like a rocket launcher or some shiz. Because I'm a crazy person like that. I would actually probably switch it for the... Nah. Oh definitely the rocket launcher. Because I like overkill. Ah, jeez. Yeah, it had a lot of organic material to work with, so... I mean, I guess you guys don't really pay attention to what we read, but I do, so... I don't even know what she picked up there. What did you pick up? Ah, uh, green herb. Okay. Can I shut this? No. Definitely feels like there should be something to read over here. Because there's nothing to read with all these pages around. That's okay. It's kind of surprising I shouldn't say anything. These guys are definitely alive. These guys are definitely alive. Knew it. Freaking knew it. How are you bulletproof to a freaking sniper? Your face ain't bulletproof, is all I gotta say. Give me a grenade. Take this. It's not a grenade, it's a mine, but you know what? Whatever. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Are you guys dead? No, I don't have anything that tells me you're not dead, so I just. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Just double check because they had a group of non debtors. <laughs> non debtors. So, might as well check. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, nothing. Okay. Aha! Let me take a drink before I read this. <coughs> Report on Project W. August 28th, 1998. It has been confirmed that we... The accident at the Raccoon City Arclay Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W test subject number 13. Uh, hereafter referred to as Adler. Albert. Albert. His death in the accident has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Albert's death was confirmed by the information department. Albert's death puts the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the projects has been drastically reduced and must be addressed immediately. This position poses a grave situation for any process that can hope to be made in the project. <coughs> Sorry. Progress. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses, it would be advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this, adjustments can be made that will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Umbrella Information Department, Alex W. I assume Wesker. Spencer's Notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posted by the threat of the T-Virus spread was very real, I do not think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of over a hundred thousand of their own people. If the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even a child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have. To hide their own foolish mistakes, they will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City Annihilation. Raccoon Cities, whatever. It, it would seem Umbrella will share Raccoon City's fate, but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. Umbrella was noticing was nothing but a tool for the research of the progenitor virus. Even without that tool, the research still survives. Only Umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its disillusion. I, some of these words, man, I'm sorry. If the secret research involve, <laughs> involving the pro virus is protected then I can always rebuild anew. I've already made preparations for such a plan. The research facility in Africa remains a secret. No it doesn't. And it is there that the pro virus is produced something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility's existence. Thanks to our secret regulation of the flow of information, only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confirmed to 
the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. All that remains is to close that facility and everything will go according to plan. Once the facility is gone, all its connections to Umbrella will disappear with it. Then I will have to deal with anyone who has a level 10 security clearance as they are the only ones who know of the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be similarly disposed of. My secrets will be protected when one buries a treasure one should not leave behind a map. A printout is stuck inside the notebook. Is it a map? Personnel with access to company secrets. Pretty sure that's a map. Level 10. Oswell S. Deceased. Henning P. Imprisoned. Uh, Maskey T. Deceased. Jenny K. Whereabouts unknown. Carlos M. Found. Information obtained. Eliminated. Okay. Brandon B. Deceased. Frank E. Deceased. Isabella C. Deceased. Greg A. Deceased. Lee D. Deceased. Michael K. Deceased. Ethan W. Is that Winters? Is that Ethan Winters? Deceased. Okay. Beep. Okay. Kind of confused right now, guys. Oh, red herb. Take it. Okay. She needs that. Oh, heck yeah, machine gun ammo. I need more machine gun ammo. I might have to buy some machine guns and just sell them for the ammo. Take it. Roger. I know it's kind of stupid, but I need more ammo. I don't quite care. Okay, saying is gigantic. Just like something else? No, okay. Oh, oh, that is something. Shotgun ammo. Sure, I'll grab it. Yeah, so my buddy could definitely have a shotgun and it wouldn't be a problem. For a while. Uh, satellite laser Shango operation manual. The Shango satellite laser is operated by using a rocket launcher style laser targeting device, LTD, that sends targeting coordinates to the satellite. The satellite is then capable of firing a highly concentrated laser to within centimeters of the target. Sounds oddly familiar. Operation Procedure Aim the LTD at the target to relay the coordinates to the satellite. 2. Once the target has been asserted, the coordinates will be relayed during the transmission. The target ring will appear red on the targeting scope. Note if the targeting sensor's AI perceives that the target is no longer being tracked by the targeting scope, transmission of the coordinates will be cancelled. 3. When lock-on appears in the scope, it means the transmission has been successful. successfully sent. Pulling the trigger will now activate the laser. 4. The firing cannon must be given time to recharge before it can be refired. We just might have a chance. The targeting device yeah, is on I the roof. I would assume we want to try to find no that time now. To lose. I think there is time to lose. Is that where we were going anyways? Probably. Hey. 
rifle ammo it's in here great let's grab this reload this noise now let's go Your space to grab grenades, go for it, girl. I don't see a weakness on the cutscene. Oh, there they are. Grab it then. This is where a rocket launcher would be really nice, by the way. I need ammo. Chris, above you. Come on. Okay. Take it. Okay. Take it. Roger. I assume that kills us. Yeah. Okay, I guess we don't have time to do that. Let's just ready up again. I don't have anything that I grabbed that was super valuable to my knowledge. I'm not even going to grab that second one because I know what's in that. Come on. Oh! Ah! Jiminy Christmas. We'll activate it when I kill these things, because I know that I can't do anything to the big thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know, big ball of death, we know. Oh dang, that's big. Yep, 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 we get it, we get it, we get it. Chris, above you. You need to be Okay, rifle is pretty good in this section, so. 
can you kill the things that are on my feet, please? Jeez Louise. Dead. No, it's not dead. It's like the Hammer of Dawn. If anyone's played Gears of War. Oh, what? Oh, you jerks. Uh, why do you do this? There's so much junk. Ah. God dang. So, I'm really mad now. I mean, I'm not mad, I'm upset, but it's, it's, it's such a f mm. It's a bummer. I don't know if you caught it, but there's so much stuff on the floor of the deck. Oh, she also probably dropped something, too. Mm, I'm really upset. <laughs> it's such a bummer. God dang, okay. We could. <laughs> oh, it's only a 30 minute video. We have only one more episode to go. We could finish it out today. Hmm. Let's see how many parts we've got. Real quick. Because that'll kind of give me an idea of how if I, not how, if I wanted 11, and I probably have 2, 3 in the, the back pedal. So, hmm, I don't know, I've, I'm always a big believer on short, shorter videos, so I try to make it semi-short, 30 minutes, I like a 30 minute video, but, um, just it just seems easier to consume that way but then that does make long more videos i don't know i don't know i don't know what to do let's see are you messaging in here where the fridge there's twitch if uh you can go in the comments and let me know See if you can see this. <laughs> I'm really stumped. I don't know if there's going to be a big boss battle. There probably is. Or what in here. And also, yeah. Hmm. Also, the stinking cutting me off before I can. 
Grab all the junk is a real jerky move. What treasures did we get? Oh, this thing. How much does it cost? 3,000. That's quite good. How much? 7, 1, 5, 1, 5, 15. Hmm. How much do you cost? 12? I want to have enough for you anyways. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm just looking at the stuff while I'm debating what I want to do. I, I really love these games, and I do want to get through them, but I also want to savor each moment, too. It's, it's a, Also, this is what I was talking about earlier. This stuff is what I need. I mean, quote-unquote, need. I don't know what they do, but it's... it's. Like, I mean, might as well do them. I'm going to replay this game again. It's up to you guys if you want to see that. I'm going to do it on my own time, most likely. But the M92F handgun, I don't use, but it's the first gun that you get. It's like a Beretta-looking thing. Then the HKP8, it's that smaller gun that's not super good. And then the Sig P226, that's the best pistol. Just base um, stats. It also looks the best. I mean, me personally... Bretta looks pretty cool, but whatever. And then I guess there's an extra pistol, or it's just completely upgrade all the pistols. Probably. I don't know. And then the uh, M37 is the pump action, like traditional pump action, like a trench gun kind of thing. Then the M3 is like a more modern pump action, like the police use. Then the jailbreaker is the drum mag that I'm using right now. I don't know what it's actually called in real life. Probably strikers, some shenanigans. Then that's probably upgrade all the shotguns. The VZ is the scorpion. If you know what I mean by Scorpion. It's a Black Ops gun. It's like a SMG. AK I have done. So it says AK-74 infinite ammo. Which would be yes please. To be honest. Because mm, yes. Mm. Okay. I'm weird with AKs. Don't worry about it. But I already completed it. Because I fully upgraded my AK. It's the best rifle like assault rifle or machine gun they say it takes the blue cartridges which in my mind the blue is the TMP ammo because Resident Evil 4 but also it's I think supposed to be 45 caliber which I don't know if you know but the AK does not shoot a 45 caliber <laughs> it shoots a little bit bigger of a round but that's fine Neither does that. I think that shoots a 9 mil, but I'm not positive. Don't quote me. But anyways, the blue box that says machine gun ammo, which I like calling the TMP and the 45 ammo. So that would be super nice, and I've fully upgraded it. I was saying that it's the best one. Uh, the SIG 5.56, which I think... Nope this thing. SIG 5.56 was after the AK, so I thought it would be better, but the default strat, or stats, strategies, whatever, stats on it were less than the AK. The damage was less, and I'm a big fan of damage, so obviously I went with the AK, but I'm, a, I'm just assuming that the SIG will be better than the AK fully upgraded. But that's just me. The SIG kind of looks like a 
like a lil type of thing. So, anyways, and then the MP5. I've also done the whole thing with which those two guns I really liked. I really liked the MP5 and I really liked the AK. That's why they're fully upgraded. Average. <laughs> The S75 rifles, that's the bolt action. The SVD, which we did pick up like early, early on. I would want to say like the fifth episode-ish. I don't remember. But I did pick it up, then I sold it, then I rebought that. Because you don't need this. You don't need it. You only really need a sniper for the collection stuff, which I got all of it. The last, the second, the last one was the hardest to get, to be honest. It was on a mast way out in the distance, which probably the better snipers have better scopes, but you know what? Nah, who cares, right? It's more money. <laughs> But the SVD is a semi-automatic rifle. We tried it. it. I don't care for it, but we had to re we have to rebuy it to upgrade it. And the PSG is a again a semi-auto sniper. It's a German sniper. I think it's one of the most powerful snipers in real life. That's also portable. If you know what I mean by portable, like it's a, um. If not, it means just easy to maneuver, to move around with. I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Whatever. Alright, Smith & Wesson, which is the S&W, because I'm a nerd, don't worry about it. M29 Magnum. So that's a revolver. And to be fully honest with you, I wish they would give me more magnum ammo and this entire game maybe it will change during the last episode but then this entire game on the easiest difficulty so it should give me more ammo has only given me I believe I'm gonna give it like the benefit of doubt and say 10 boxes of ammo of magnum that's generous estimate. My actual thought process is like five, but I'm gonna say ten just to give it the benefit of the doubt. Cause I usually just walk over it because I know it's not enough. And usually a box only gives you six to three. It's random, I think, the um many bullets you get. But that six for this is just one mag. Even though one bullet can destroy a face, and it's amazing. Watch Resident Evil 4 if you actually want to see a magnum in action. <laughs> I mean, I, the first one I picked up, I did use because I love the magnum. It just doesn't give you enough ammo to actually use it. It. Once you pick it up, there won't be any ammo in that area for this one. It's in that trap area with the tribal guys um, in the elevated platforms, I believe, in the traps. It will not drop magnum ammo. In The gun has a clip, so only six, so I decimated six guys because it's the best gun hands down and I would absolutely love to have it but you have no inventory space so you can't just keep it which I would just keep it it's fine I went on a little rant about the amazingness of magnums and the lightning hawk is the deagle so again awesome gun the nice I actually did not try the Deagle, but I know Magnums are Magnums. You just, you know, you know, you know. And even if it's not more powerful, if it's about the same or 
less, you still would want this Lightning Hawk. You would still want the Deagle. Because with a revolver, even though it most likely will fully reload within two shells. Sure. Two shells. It's still slower than a mag change with the Deagle. So you would want it just for the reload quickness. Every second counts, am I right? And then, I don't fully understand what this is. The uh, versus characters. I mean, you obviously know it's a character in the versus mode, but I don't know who A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R. And you only get at most, I think, 900 points per section, and that's if you get an A or better, I believe. Yeah, uh, if you get like a B or C, it's like 300. It's not a lot, but I mean, each time I've ended, I've gotten like 3,000, because... Uh, for the first few, you don't unlock anything. And I think you do start with a thousand. Or I'm just speaking out of my blank void of a brain. I don't know. But I'm probably going to unlock all those guys if I have points. And I'll show you them if I can. <laughs> but I, I'm definitely going to do that mode later on. It's in this special content. No, no, it's not. It's in the bonus content or extra content. Yeah. So the Mercenaries United were, I believe, gonna do. Yeah. I think it's the... Yeah. We're probably... I don't know if we're gonna go through all of them, because that's a, quite a bit. Maybe in an episode we'll do all of them. And then the verses, it's online. I don't know, I'll look at it to kind of sh and I, I might try one if I can. Just to show you guys what it looks like. I won't be happy about it. But I'd like to show you guys the whole game. And then Lost in Nightmares is the extra episode of what happened I'm assuming after Resident Evil 3, but I don't know, but whatever happened to Jill after the flashback scene of her jumping out of the window. So we'll see that, and then I assume that's going to pop up after the game, or we're going to unlock it in that little... I just showed you guys. And the files, I've stopped looking at them. Because they're, they're all ginormous. If you guys are interested in them, get the game. <laughs> it's a good game. I would suggest it. It's a, If you guys like Army of Two, I would highly suggest it. And we're almost done with all the figurines, too. We just have a few more. I know it's figures. I've... I'm too obsessed with, like, Star Wars and junk. But these things, I really love these things, too. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at the detail on this guy. It looks so nice. I mean, I didn't pick the loveliest looking dude, but the detail on these, like, the skins are really nice. Let's see. Where's Chris? There's Chris. So, let's zoom in on this guy. Like, look at that. That's real glossy. It's just really good. I really like what they did with this. It's really nice. And you can just see basically every single detail. And you can tell what most things are. I mean, if I was more knowledgeable about technology and exactly what mags look like, I could tell you all this stuff. But I don't. So, I won't. And I, I mean, I can assume what that gun is on his holster, just based on what it appears to me. It appears to be a Glock, just based on that back and kind of the handle. 
but I don't know for sure is the thing. But I mean, like, I really love looking at all is the details of these characters. And just, it's probably very weird that I like their skin, <laughs> but it looks really nice. And it's, I just really enjoy this figures stuff. Oh, I didn't notice that he had green shoes. See, and we learn everything, or not everything, something new every day. I just really like the characters. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but anyways. And then there's this section, the extra figures. I don't fully know what's going to be in here. Maybe it's that versus. Ten. It doesn't seem like there was ten versus guy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. No, it's only eight, so there'd be two more. No, no. But I actually was able to ramble along <laughs> long enough <laughs> to where. <laughs> uh, doesn't really make sense for me to, to continue. But at least I gave you some knowledge about this, and I am really enjoying this series. This one's definitely one of my f favorite ones so far. It's definitely a keeper for me, and I, again, do s strongly suggest it if you like Army of Two. If you haven't played Army of Two, please play Army of Two. Devil's Cartel. That was a good one. I mean, um... Are we to 40th uh, or 40 years, something like that? That one's pretty good. I haven't played that too much, so I can't speak on it that much. But Armia 2, um, what's that second one called? God dang. Whatever, I'm blanking. The, um... Second army of two, where I think it's the second one. It seems a little bit closer to the one where they show them in the rangers. And uh, you kill... Spoilers. You kill Dalton, the contractor. And you get a minigun in that one. Obviously, I bought the minigun because I'm a crazy person. It's fine. Um, and they've been doing it for... Four years, was it? Yeah. Anyways, that one's good. I know that one's good. I really like that series, so I'm going to have to show it to you guys once. But I can't, because I really want to show you guys Devil's Cartel, because that one's my favorite. I love the guns. I love the graphics. I just, everything about it, I love it. The other ones, I can't fully complete because there's some online achievements. I hate online achievements because I don't play online. Uh, but it's still a good game, nonetheless. And I like the co-op feel of it. I don't know. I just... I'm a very co-op kind of person. I don't like being against people. I like working with people. Okay, I'm going to stop my ramble now. <laughs> Apologies. I hope you have a great day, and I really appreciate you watching. I will see you tomorrow around the same time. And thanks again.